द क्वेश्चन इज फॉलोइंग ट्रायल बैलेंस वाज एक्सट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम द बुक्स ऑफ राम एज एट थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन एंड प्रिपेयर ट्रेडिंग एंड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट फॉर द ईयर एंडेड थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन एंड बैलेंस इट आज एट दैट डेट आफ्टर टेकिंग इन टू अकाउंट द फॉलोइंग हियर द एडजस्टमेंट बी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वी हैव फोर बैड डेट्स वन इन द डेबिट साइड ऑफ दिस डेबिट कॉलम ऑफ दिस ट्रायल बैलेंस वन इन द क्रेडिट कॉलम ऑफ द ट्रायल बैलेंस एंड टू आर इन द एडजस्टमेंट दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ वी कैन स्टार्ट विथ इन द बुक्स ऑफ राम draw the trade format of trading and profit and loss account for the year ended 31st march 2016 and after drawing this we can start from the debit side sorry credit side that is by sales rupees 1,49,840 rupees less returns inward that is rupees 1,820 in the final column that is rupees 1,48,020 rupees That is by closing stock rupees fourteen thousand nine hundred twenty rupees to opening stock rupees eleven thousand four hundred sixty rupees to purchases rupees eighty two thousand two hundred ten rupees place purchases return rupees four two four zero in the final column we can have rupees seventy seven thousand nine hundred seventy rupees to wages that is rupees eight five six zero. Add outstanding wages that is rupees five hundred seventy in the final column. We will have rupees nine one three zero. We have to add outstanding wages to wages that is rupees nine one three zero. In the final column, we will have other factory expenses that is rupees carriage inward rupees two three one zero. To light and water, it is factory. If it is office, then it will be shown in the profit and loss account. Though it belongs to factory, relates to factory, that will be shown in the trading account as a manufacturing expenses. And in the credit side, we have the totaling, that is, rupees one lakh sixty two thousand nine hundred forty rupees in the credit total. Take it to the debit total and now find out to gross profit carried down CD, that is rupees fifty four thousand one hundred twenty rupees. Now in the profit and loss account we have by gross profit brought down rupees fifty four thousand one hundred twenty rupees. Then in the profit and loss account it is we will have our other items that is by discount it is a credit discount it is given in the credit column of the trial balance it is an income. Next one is uh, your expenditure that will be shown in the debit side to depreciation. And for leasehold premises, it is rupees one two five zero. You can see the adjustment for this. It is written depreciation is to be written of as follows: leasehold premises five percent, that is rupees one two five zero, and plant and machinery say one zero less, that is rupees twenty four thousand ten percent twenty four hundred. And in the totaling will be in the final column that is rupees three six five zero. Next is your two VAT date rupees one thousand. It is given in the trial balance debit side, and to this the adjustment the adjustment number B that is write off rupees five five hundred as further VAT date further VAT date that is add further VAT date rupees five hundred and make same B point. And make a provision for doubtful debts equal to rupees five thousand. This five thousand is new provision. Add new provision for bad debt. All adjustments has already been calculated and shown. You have to just add this and write down in the inside column. That is rupees six five zero double zero. Out of this, our old provision or last year's provision or provision given in the credit side of the trial balance. That is provision for. Bad and doubtful debts on first April two thousand fifteen. That is rupees four two four zero. Less old provision rupees four two four zero. We have to show it in the final column. That is rupees two two six zero. Then next item is uh, to salaries rupees six two eight zero to travellers salaries. That is nine eight seven zero. 
then to office expenses rupees nine five two zero, to carriage outwards, that is rupees three two four zero, to rate rates and insurance rupees six nine four zero. Here we have an adjustment that is adjustment number E. On expired premium amounted to six eighty, amounted to rupees six hundred eighty is to be carried forward to the next year less on expired insurance. That is rupees six eight double zero. It will be shown as an as a current asset in the current assets of the balance sheet. Now the in the final column we will have after deducting rupees six hundred eighty we will have rupees six two six zero. Then total the credit side that is rupees fifty four thousand three hundred. Now deduct all expenses and that will we will be finding out to. Net profit carried down the difference the gap that is rupees thirteen thousand two hundred twenty rupees and next is our balance sheet balance sheet as at thirty first March two thousand sixteen in the asset side we will have current assets that is cash in hand rupees twelve thousand four hundred cash at a bank rupees two two one zero on expired insurance rupees six hundred eighty. Bills receivable rupees twelve hundred eighty, sundry debtors rupees thirty eight thousand nine hundred seventy, less further added rupees five hundred. In the from the sundry debtors, we have to already we have to deduct only the adjustment added. One is given in the adjustment further added five hundred, and new provision is also given to in the to us. In the B part, that is rupees five thousand less new provision for that day, that is rupees five thousand. Then after deducting these two items, we have to show it in the final column as rupees thirty three thousand four hundred seventy. And all other items in the asset side are closing stock rupees fourteen thousand nine hundred twenty. Then fixed assets under this head, we will have office furniture rupees three thousand five hundred. Plant and machinery rupees twenty four thousand less depreciation rupees two four double zero. After deducting depreciation, we can show in the final column rupees twenty one thousand six hundred and leasehold premises that is rupees twenty five thousand less depreciation at the rate of five percent that is rupees one two five zero. In the final column, we can have rupees. Twenty-three thousand seven hundred fifty rupees. Then totaling of the asset side is rupees one lakh thirteen thousand seven hundred twenty rupees. In the liabilities, we have current liabilities under this sundry creditors rupees sixteen thousand nine hundred eighty rupees. Outstanding wages being an adjustment is shown for the second time rupees five hundred seventy. It is an it is an adjustment. Next one being long term liabilities and capital. Capital rupees ninety thousand, less drawings rupees seven thousand, add net profit rupees thirteen thousand two hundred twenty. In the final column, we will have rupees ninety six thousand two hundred twenty rupees, and the totaling will be rupees one lakh thirteen thousand seven hundred seventy rupees, and this is the final answer.